An elderly man lies in the hospital, visited daily by a young man who stays for over an hour. The youth helps him eat and bathe, takes him for walks in the hospital garden, assists him in lying down, and leaves only after ensuring he's comfortable. One day, a nurse enters to give the old man his medicine and check on him. She remarks, may God bless you with your son's presence. He visits you daily. The old man looks at her, pauses, then closes his eyes and says, I wish you were one of my sons. He's an orphan from our old neighborhood. When I once saw him crying at his doorstep after his father's death, I felt compelled to help him. We developed a special relationship, not based on blood, but on love and loyalty. He began visiting me regularly at home, checking on my needs, helping with daily tasks. I reciprocated with the same care and attention as if we'd become family. We shared stories, laughter, and pain, finding solace and peace in each other's company. I learned much about patience and strength from him while he learned wisdom and experience from me. When I was admitted to the hospital, nothing changed. He comes daily, sits by my side, holds my hand, and says, don't worry, dad, I'll always be here. I realized then that family isn't limited to blood TIs, but is a bond of souls united by love and devotion. This young man was my gift in life. Though not my son by birth, he was the son I always wished for. With each passing day, I become more certain that true friendships and the bonds we build with others are the greatest wealth we can possess in this life.